Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Dan. And I'm Naomi. And we're going to be teaching you some simple Stone Age skills. Today, we're going to be cooking some fish. How are we going to be cooking the fish? Uh, we're going to cook the fish over the fire and we're going to cook the fish around the fire. Is that nice. enough explanation that for sounds, you? That sounds great to me. Yeah. Um, and are we going to have any ingredients for the fish or is it just going to be plain fish today? Have I not told you what we're doing? <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, I wondered what ingredient we are. Are we just using the fish on the fire, or we're going to go and forage? So, good question. So, we are going to cook one piece of fish yep. straight on the fire on a plank, um, just using the delicious flavours of the fish. Yeah. And the second fish we're going to cook, we're going to cook it right over the top of the fire, kind of like a spit. Nice. Um, and I thought we could just go and have a little wander in the woods and see if there's anything that we could perhaps use to stuff the fish with. Should we go and do that, see what we can find? Sure. Let's go. Oh, thank you. What there a we gentleman. go. What a caveman, <laughs> gentlemen. Or shall I get the first? This could be a good spot for looking for sorrel. This is where we usually find it. Uh, I can see some already. Yeah, look at this down here. Yeah. That would be perfect to stuff the trout with. Wow, look at this. This is my favourite, this is. Look at that beautiful heart-shaped leaf. Beautiful, delicious, vitamin C packed leafy green. I'm going to eat this one. Yeah, I would. This is going to go great with the trout, isn't it? It would be amazing. Can you imagine a, a tart with sorrel? Oh yeah. Nutty pastry. And Sweet tangy sorrel inside. So, let's so stick to beautiful. The fish yeah, let's stick to the fish today. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. I think we've got enough. I think so. Let's get this lovely zesty thing and to the our fish. And the stalks are beautiful as well, yeah. aren't they? It's not just the. Do you want to put that in my bag there? Indeed. Lovely. I'm just going to pick some of these ferns and then we've got something nice to put our fish on when it is cooked. Got to be careful picking them as they have a tendency to bite back. Lovely. Awesome, so that was good foraging right there. We've got our bag full of sorrel here and we found some fork sticks to go around the fire to put our fish on. Brilliant. Should we get them in the fire then? We'll get them on the, around the fire. Let's get them around the fire. There you go, you have that one. I'll have this one. Okay, where is it? And then here, we've got our, here on eh? We've got a big stick to go across like that. That's perfect. And then all the fat can run down. Ah. Do you reckon it needs to be a little bit closer to the fire though? A little yes, bit. That's yeah. why I wanted this one a bit okay. lower down. Let's push that one in. You hold that. That's quite a long six, so maybe it's a bit softer up here. What do you reckon? How's that? That's good. That looks good like that looks good like that, doesn't it? And if you can hold your hand there, here we go. If you can hold your hand there for three seconds, one, two, I do five. three. That's about 180 degrees. Wow. There we go, in Stone Age terms. Um, so maybe we can just, maybe I'll move it in front of the flames. Here. So we've got a beautiful rainbow trout here, um, just caught it from our little lake down there. Um, so we're going to gut him and then stuff him and stick him. And cook him? Cook him. Nice. Okay, okay let's get a little shot. Yeah, I'll just get a little, little bit of flint flake off here. Oh, whoa. What did we get off here? Is that a good enough blade for you? Do you want a slightly... Can I 
You want to kneel on something, don't you? Yeah, I do. Right, let's put them down for the fish, our nice table. There you go, that's got a nice edge on it. Try that one if you want to gut it. Just let me know if that blade doesn't work and I'll do another one. Yeah, a little. This is all right. Our Stone Age ancestors were super clever and practical. And they didn't need to take lots and lots of tools with them because actually there was always a rock. It didn't have to be a piece of flint. Um, and you can always break a little piece of rock off and find yourself a shard and you've got yourself a nice cutting tool. So you can see we just open up our fish. There's all these lovely guts. Um, they wouldn't be wasted. They could then be used for bait for fishing or bait for traps. We could set a small trap for some rodents and things like that. Um, this meal could provide maybe um, the start of another meal. Um, but today I'm just going to put my guts aside. It's a funny thing to say. And also, part of these innards perhaps could have just been thrown in a stew. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to stick a stick all the way through his mouth and out through his tail. If you can make that stick a little bit sharp on one end, that's quite useful to sort of thread it through. We're going to put some sorrel inside of him and then we're going to find a little green stick and just give him a couple of little stitches to hold that in. Brilliant. Right, Dan, have you got a, the stick? You got the sole? Yeah, I've got the sole here. Wow. That's going to taste really good. Should we just shove it in, yeah? Shove it in. Shove. And uh, actually, what that's going to do is just keep it really moist as well. So it kind of cooks inside a bit like spinach, so it just sort of wilts. But nice. It does give a little slightly sweet flavour. Okay, so we're going to use these little um, sticks that we got from the main... Do you want to nick a little hole in it or will it stab through? It should I'll stab through. You need to make a hole. Good idea. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little bit of sewing. And then it will steam all inside, won't it? I hope so. It's amazingly strong, isn't it, fish skin? We are using a massive stone for this. I'm sure there's a little shard somewhere we could use. Just over by the fire. <coughs> Thanks. <laughs> that might do a bit better. It's like using an axe to try and get a hole through the. Yeah. It's so tough. There we go. Did that go through? No. Just broke the flint. <laughs>
Right, there we go. Right. So we made the holes just about, and then you're going to thread that piece of bark this one here. through and tie it up. Totally mass cream across at the same time. <coughs> There's a hole there. Yeah. I want to do one down there as well. And you know, this might just all burn off, but at the same time, it will uh, cook beautifully. Look at that. Okay. Rethinking. Always thinking. That's great. It's all tied up, it's all done. That looks delicious. Brilliant. Yummo. Let's go and put that on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> did you just say yummo? I did. It's very Stone Age of you. Look at that. Awesome. I've got a whopping side of trout here. Look at that. And how we're going to cook this one is we are going to put it on a plank. Now we've got a cedar plank here that we can bung it on like so. And all we need to do is very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to punch in a couple of pegs. Now these have been fire hardened. So I'll make a little groove in the board and then I'll tap them in with the with a hammer stone. So we've got our flint, we've got a flint bit here. And I think I'm just gonna peg it in two places. There. And there. They look like good pegs. Let's see if that'll Yeah, it's gonna go in that one. Break that bit down a little bit. Cool. Okay, what I need is a shard of flint. Oh, I could use my knife. My knife's sharp enough. That's going to go there. That went through there. Line it up with a hole and then just tap it in. That's pinned there. Same again here. Mark it out roughly. That's gone through and then we can just Let me tap that in. And there, we've got a lovely bit of trout that will cook by the fire. That should take about half an hour, really. And then all the oils and all the fats inside it will make it taste absolutely delicious. Let's go and put it on the fire. There we go. That's about one, two, three. Ooh. Three seconds, that makes about 180 degrees or thereabouts.
Well, it looks like our trout is cooked. It is looking lovely and crispy and fat drippingly delicious. And also we've got our big side of trout here as well that I'm going to grab from the fire and take over to the table. Wow, it's a beast. Look at that. There we go. Room for two. Wow. What a feast. And I think what's amazing, Dan, is that our ancestors just wouldn't have wasted any of this. So we would probably take the skin off, we'd probably take the yeah. bones out, we'd probably discard the eyes. But actually, I think our ancestors would have known that there were so many calories in that eye. Do you want to eat the eye? I'll eat the eye. Really? And, oh, yeah, and also as well, in the bones, you could have toasted the bones to get the calcium out and yeah, stuff like, like that. Yeah, like fish so crackling. So good. There's an eye. There's an eye. I'm not going to eat the eye, if that's all right. There's the eye. I've just squished it. There we go. I try and do my non-disgusted face. It tastes really good. Really good really, or yeah. just okay? No, it tastes really good. It was like barbecued. Barbecued eyeball. There we I go, that's your one. Favorite. I'll know what to cook for your birthday dinner. Look at that. Are you going to pull the stick out or are you going to leave it yeah, in? Yeah, no, I'm going to pull it out. So let's take the knots out. The tie, should I say. There we go, they're out. Oh, wow. And we're just going to pull back that skin. <sighs> Although, absolutely eat the skin. Look at that. And I just want to go straight for that flesh. Much so. Smoky. Mm. Beautiful. And that trout. You get such a nice hit. Very delicate hit of that sorrel. That zestiness. We're going to go for the big guy next. Mm -hmm. Or are we going to make everyone just make, his name, make them watch mm -hmm. us eat? Beautiful. That is perfectly cooked. I'm just going to dig in mm -hmm. to this guy. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Happy Stone Age. Happy lunch. Stone Age days. Oh, it's so oily and good. Oh and that really, really crispy bit. bit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, how good is that? Good. Mm. No, genuinely, I'm gonna eat my lunch now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Probably broke the eyeball. That was really good. It wasn't like an eyeball. Not that I've eaten many eyeballs. Very decadent lunch, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. I'm Naomi. He's got his mouth full. That was Dan. Subscribe, like, comment, and join us for another Stone Age Primitive video soon. Yeah, please share as well. Mm. Well, that's all I can say right now because I'm stuffing my face, but that, just cooked on its own, mm -hmm. is amazing.